Mike, it's a pleasure to be here at Leader CNC. I want to know more about this machine that you've got in stock here, because you don't often see machines of this size and capability. What, what is this from Toshiba? Um, it's a two metre VTL with a live spindle, and we brought it in because there's so much interest now in the rail industry, construction, and so on. We bought the machine for stock. And you have got it here in stock, which is great, so people can come and come here and see it and see it running. Tell hopefully us about the tool. As well. uh, hopefully, yeah, that's the most <laughs> important thing. Tell us about the, the tooling behind this and, and what it's capable of um, as well. It's, it's a live spindle machine, so the live tools are under 3,000 RPM. It's got eight, uh, 18 tools. It's got a mixture of milling and turning tools. So it's a live spindle machine. Interestingly, earlier we were talking about construction of machines like this because the industries you're talking, you're, you're talking some heavy parts, you're talking about hitting components quite hard with cutting forces. Just tell us a little bit about, about how this is constructed and how they've managed to get it in a small footprint. Well, traditionally people use a big lump of cast iron and they build things around it, which is the way most uh, VTLs are constructed. Toshiba, because they've got their own foundry, have got the capability of using stress analysis to actually work out what's required on a machine like this. So looking at it, they've reconstructed the, the base with a welded structure, a mixture of cast iron and welded structure, which is far stronger because you can direct the forces where you want them to go. If you then look at the column, it's actually a curved column. The reason they've done it is, there's several reasons for it. Um, the main one is to get the cutting forces back into the column. If you look at the cutting forces on, this, on, on the VTL, you've got rotational forces and you've got radial forces along the centre line. So Toshiba have designed it so the cutting forces are absorbed into the thicker end of the column and they decline going towards the back. As far, the other advantage is they managed to get the table right inside the column, so the cutting forces are well contained. This reduces the floor area to under 20 square meters. And I would assume it makes the machine last longer. It's got more longevity as well, has it? Well, it, it, again, the, the, one of the most important things on a VTL is a table. Um, a lot of people use a combination uh, bearing to support the load and also for accuracy. Toshiba use a large roller bearing to support the load. It'll carry 15 tonnes. And as well as that, inside the main spindle itself, they've actually got angular contact bearings for radial positioning. So instead of using just a single bearing, they're using one for positioning and one to carry the load. Sounds like you've done your, your homework and your research on this quite well, Mike, but does, does this mean then that there, there are quite a few manufactured vertical lathes, vertical turning machines that don't, that don't embrace those types of uh, build constructions that you're talking about? The, the traditional way has always been to start off with a big lump of cast iron. Now, a lot of people look at this machine and they say, why is it so small? We look at it and say, we can put anything on this machine and it will outperform, equally perform, and outperform a lot, most of ETLs, only because of the, Toshiba, the way Toshiba have used their stress analysis to actually design the column and the base of the machine itself. If, if people want to pay for cast iron, which is basically what the machines are, and some machines may weigh a few more tons than this, okay, the cast iron a thousand pounds a ton if you want to pay for cast iron instead of cutting capability, go for it. But Toshiba have used what they've been make, making these machines for 40 years now and having their own foundries they are able to do, do to develop this machine. They've developed it and they've got a lot of experience in it by the sounds of it, 40 years. I, I'm, it might be harder to see on camera but just tell us the size of the, this machine and the working envelope as well. It's, it's a two metre table, it'll swing 2.4 metres and, it'll, and it will swing, it's got an elevating rail of a metre so it will actually uh, cut a component 1,550 millimetres high, just over one and a half metres, weighing 15 tonnes. Which means if you've got the elevated rail, you can also bring the, is it the W axis closer you can, down? You can, yes, you can bring the elevated rail down so you can get the spin closer to for small ring work. What, what sort of weight would you, could you get on here as well? 15 as tonnes, 15 tonnes on this machine. Uh, that, that, now this for you is quite a big market for Leader CNC, isn't it, as a company? You specialise in, in, in some pretty meaty applications on these types of machines, don't you? We've been uh, selling Toshiba machines on and off the people who work here for over 35 years now. The first Toshiba machines that were put in by people who still work here are running in a UK company, still running after 35 years in production. And these people have now got over 25 Toshiba machines, which tells you something. What's the carrot on this? You've bought this in for stock, as with any business, you, you don't want it here uh, forever. You, you want to move it, but, but it is a premium quality machine. What, what can we say to engineers or what can engineers uh, gain from this interview about looking at one of these machines? If you want high cutting capability, 
reliability and quality. People always look at Toshiba and they say, it's a beautiful machine, but we can't afford it. Toshiba have redesigned this machine now. It's more cost effective than a lot of competitive machines of the same size. So people might be surprised what this machine may cost them. I just want to ask you finally about the, the, the milling side. How much power have you got on the milling? Is there, is, is there a lot? It's 50, 15 kilowatts. So just to summarise then, Mike, we've got a VTL here. This is a, do you pronounce this as a TU or a TUE 200? It's a TUE 200 S. And it's available from stock. It's got turning it and milling function. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, yeah, it's available here from Leader CNC with this uh, FANUC OITD control. Absolutely, yes.